Okay, what's up YouTube? Today I want to show you how to jailbreak firmware 2.1 on the iPod Touch or iPhone. And just to begin, um, I want to tell you guys to close out iTunes, make sure your iPod's turned on, and make sure it's plugged into the computer. And if you're on a, not on firmware 2.1, just hit update in iTunes. Now, after you do all that stuff, you're going to want to... This does not work for the iPod Touch 2G, just to tell you. That's the newest one that just came out about a week ago. So, now, what you're going to do is download the links in the, on, the right, on the right of this video. Download them both on which one you are. Like, you have to download the modded Quick Pwn and the, um, uh, the firmware that you're in. That's all you need. And if you don't know how to, if you can't extract files, download the WinRAR thing that I did. So, sorry if I'm just ranting, but here it is. Um, so, open up the modded Quick Pwn. It's not going to be named modded Quick Pwn. I believe it might be named different. But anyways, just double click, double click again. Find Quick Pwn and double click on it. And it's a little, just a teeny bit laggy. And then you're going to want to click on what you are using. I'm using an iPod Touch right now. Someone just IM me, but whatever. Um, iPod Touch, hit next. Hold on, I'll pause the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do something. But then you're going to want to hit next after you check which one you are. And then you're going to want to hit Browse. And this is where the iPod Touch firmware or iPhone firmware or iPhone 3G firmware comes in that you're supposed to download. So here it is. I saved mine to the desktop. It's just easier for me. Make sure it's the 2.1 Restore firmware. It's not going to update it if you have 2.0. I mean, if you're in 2.0 and you use the 2.1 firmware. So make sure you're on the latest firmware. Then double click on it. Let it load up. This is where the lagginess comes in part, if that's even a word. Um, so it might take, uh, if it uh, takes over a minute to load up, you might want to restart, but I'm not going to pause the video because mine usually takes about 30 seconds, well, less than that, and I'm going to pause the video. Okay guys, it only took about 30 seconds to load up, sorry if it was already loaded up I think when I had the video playing, but anyways, it's loaded up, so hit the arrow. Hit add Cydia if you want it. Hit whatever you want, just click. I recommend adding Cydia and the installer. If you don't want the boot logo to be this pineapple right here, don't click replace boot logos. So uncheck that if you don't want that. Sorry, in QuickPone, you can't make your custom boot logo. But this is the easiest way to jailbreak your iPod Touch as of Friday, September 9th, 2008. So just to get those off to beginners. So this is what you should do. Hit next. You are now ready to start the pwnage process on your dice. Quick pwn will attempt to close iTunes if it's open. Now, pick up your iPod, and I'm going to tell you right now, once you hit next, it's going to ask you to do those commands. Right when it goes to that page, you want to want to do those commands immediately. This is what the commands are going to look like, so don't do anything yet and just watch this video. So, it's going to say, one, two, three, I'm going to hit next. Hold. Okay, wait for your iPod to connect in recover mode. Hold down the home button for five seconds. Three, two. Okay. Doing it. Hold down home and power button. Release the power button and continue holding the home button. And I'm not going to lie, I was like three seconds off on the beginning, but it's still working. But you should try to be exact. See, it's still working. I did that. This is the second time I've done that. Because I did it two times, just to, the first time, just to be sure it worked. Because I didn't want to mess up any of you guys. Crap, my spy sweeper's starting. I'll minus that out and still continue holding the home button like it says. Sorry if I said that. Continue holding the home button. And I'll tell you when to stop. Don't stop until I say stop. It's going to unhighlight this over here. But trust me, don't stop, you'll mess it up. Sorry if your hand gets tired, you're going to have to hold it for about a minute and 15 seconds. Even though it says 30 seconds. Trust me, keep holding it until it'll say your iPod's con uh, done poning or something like that. I'm still holding it. Still holding it. I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. And I'm still holding This only takes less than two minutes, guys, so I'm not going to pause the video. Less than a minute, I get believe. So it's done, I believe, right after that, or is it one more? 
so see keep holding it guys don't let go it might fool you when it gets finished I did that before about a week ago when I was poning 2.0 again your ponage has been complete please wait while your device forbids to newly modified state now once you get that spinning wheel you can release or once you get to this page you can release don't exit out this trust me you don't want to and you might not have the the pineapple logo but don't worry it's not going to be your permanent boot up logo it's just doing that I don't have my pineapple logo on mine sometimes I do sometimes I don't right here but it might be a blank screen with just a pinning, spinning wheel so I'm going to pause the video here while it reboots okay guys I have it just rebooted it took about two minutes but if you had a lot of apps since you don't have to restore in this one and you had a lot of apps on your iPod touch it can take up to five six minutes but I think it's over six minutes you did something wrong but yeah so just give it a second to boot up you might not like I said you might not have that pineapple on it when under the spinning wheel I didn't but the first time I did it's kinda weird but yeah so you didn't have to end any processes you can exit out now and I'm gonna show you that I have Cydia and I'm gonna stop the video